I'm Rake, the fashion designer and founder of Raklias. Raklias is an independent clothing brand based here in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. It utilizes uh, locally available resources to create uh, custom fitting, fairly priced garments. So the project or the collection I'm sharing today is the Telf collection. It's the brand's first ever drop, also associated with uh, the launch of the brand. So it's a limited collection of upcycled blazers with uh, hand embroidery all over it. So I took this concept into reality basically by diving straight into uh, doing a bunch of research on how to embroider, what kind of embroidery to use, what kind of thread I was supposed to use. The thread that was used to do the embroidery for this was also upcycled. So for a previous project I had used a bunch of discarded thread and had that hand woven into fabric. But then for this I had leftovers from the previous project that I could have used for this so that was the one piece the one element that was going to combine the hand embroidery with these blazers to create this hand embroidered blazers basically The inspiration behind this project is uh, for a long time I used to go back and forth to this uh, factory that produces um, men's suits. Na over time gan by yos kuter eh mika yar na garilam. So kruma chost na zi kutuch betamal alas kuter hule alu. Na sasbo one of these days I want to. So, I don't know, take some of these blazers and not do something with it, upcycle it, reuse it somehow and uh, put it out into the market. That's what I used to think. So over time, um, how can I realize this demo is um, I wanted to incorporate some sort of traditional element to these blazers. So one of the number one things uh, we all know when it comes to the fashion industry in Ethiopia is um, hand weaving. But then there's also uh, hand embroidery that is very common, but not very... Mm, it's common, but it's not common at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. So mo when the first thing that comes to your mind is hand weaving, not uh, so I thought, why not use that, uh, add it onto the blazers and create something new. So that's basically what we did. Uh, literally Googled on YouTube how to hand embroider and we tried it. Uh, there was a lot of trial and error and that's basically how we did it. So neither me nor uh, my team knew how to embroider before this project. Um, so it was just a matter of how to do it and what kind of design that we could have used on uh, the blazers when it comes to the embroidery design itself. Um, I wanted to keep it simple because I wanted the traditional element but I didn't want it to be very traditional. I wanted, I wanted it to be very modern, easily wearable. Um, so actually in the beginning, the design was much more complicated than this, uh, but later on we had to refine, take back, and in the end, this is the stripes was what we went for. Um, we did change a lot of elements when it comes to the finishing of the blazers, like the buttons and uh, such things, but yeah, that's basically it.
what's new for me and Draklias is that we are going to be doing a lot of experimenting with upcoming um, drops and collections. So whether it be just um, in-house drops or uh, collaborations with artists that are not, or creatives that are not in our industry, we have a lot of those planned. So that's what you should be expecting. One hack that has served me right that I uh, would want to share with you guys would be um, in most scenarios, whatever project it may be, whatever stage of the project it may be, none of your plans are going to go your way. So don't have expectations. That's basically the hack. Let me add one more and improvise. Be ready to improvise at all times. That's, that would be my hack.